is recognized. There's a reason that we never see the images after a mass shooting. There's a reason that the screams of little boys and little girls in Uvalde were edited out of the video that everyone in this room has surely seen. I've spoken to doctors throughout the years who have spent time in emergency rooms. Our handguns, they tell me, often create small and very subtle wounds, wounds that can even be difficult to find. Assault weapons are a completely different story. When the call comes into the hospital, doctors are told to prepare for a mass casualty, casualty event. Nurses are asked to find every gurney and wheelchair that they can find. The medical staff call every surgeon that they can contact. The dead and the dying arrive in waves. Doctors assign the wounded a color. Green means flesh wound. These patients will survive without treatment. Yellow means a bullet in the chest and they could die within the hour. Red means these children or churchgoers or parents or patrons have only minutes to live. The trauma surgeons see them first. Black means that there's no longer a reason to spend effort or resources on the corpse coming through the doors. Floors in these hospitals begin to look more like a battlefield. Doctors turned army medics doing everything they can to stop the bleeding and to remove bullets and body parts that will keep patients alive. The doctors must deal ceaselessly with the pain and panic of the frightened victims, many of them terrified at the blood on their clothes, praying to their God that they will not die. Assault rifles cause something called cavitation. The bullet does not just travel through the body, it creates a cavity within it. Organs ruptured and shred. Bones shatter and the shards serve as shrapnel as soft body tissue is torn into pieces. With assault rifles, exit wounds can be a foot wide. The victim is oftentimes, when they're shot in the head, their skulls explode. Arms and legs disintegrate and turn to dust. And the damage from these weapons of war is far greater in our children. Their organs and arteries are smaller, and they have only half as much blood as adults. In Uvalde, two children were decapitated by bullets. Bodies of others were pulverized beyond recognition, the damage caused by these weapons more closely resembling a grenade than a handgun. We are paying for these weapons of war on our streets with the blood of our children sitting in our classrooms, our churches, in our communities. Mothers and fathers waiting in line for DNA tests, forced to learn secondhand whether body parts littering the schools is all that's left of their child. And what's the purpose of this carnage? I know my colleagues on the other side of the Mr. aisle. Chairman, agree Mr. That Chairman, that this markup, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, this markup is not in order. Right, Mr. Chairman, but where then the gentlelady deserves to be heard. The markup is not in order. The gentleman is correct. Then later we'll proceed. Sir, may I reclaim some of my time? Yes. Thank you. We're paying for these weapons of war on our streets with the blood of our children sitting in our schools. Mothers and fathers waiting in line for DNA tests, forced to learn secondhand whether body parts littering the school is all that's left of their child. And what is the purpose of this carnage? I know my colleagues on the other side of the aisle would agree that the right to a weapon is not an unlimited right. But where then do we draw the line? Are we free to acquire C4 or plastic explosives to defend ourselves? Can you infringe on my right to a tank to protect myself? Does your neighbor have the right to patrol the neighborhood with a predator missile for safety? Should we all have access to our own nukes for protection from enemies, both foreign and domestic? Of course, this would be absurd. If civilians would access these weapons of war, there would be more devastating carnage and chaos. Are the with gentleman assault, yield? With us, I will not. With assault rifles, this madness already exists. Assault weapons are not made to protect. They are made to murder and maim. They are designed to destroy. And now, instead of the American military using these firearms to cut through our opposing forces, these weapons are being used to cut down our children. There's a reason that we never see these bodies after a mass murder. It's because many of them no longer exist. There's a reason these weapons of war do not belong in our schools, in our grocery stores, and in our churches, and in our communities. 
It's because America should not be at war with itself. And I yield back. Gentleman, the gentlelady yields back for our purposes. The gentleman from Texas seek recognition. Who shrank the last word? Gentleman is recognized. <clears throat> Uh, James Madison 